yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jamie Woods. You guys already know what it is, baby. But today, guys, I want to go over something a bit serious with you guys. So in today's episode, in today's video, I want to talk about how you can cure the loneliness that comes in your mid to late 20s. You see, here's the thing, guys. When you get to your mid to in late 20s, even your early 20s, you'll start to notice right after college, people are already getting married. People are already getting cuffed up. People are already getting boyfriend, girlfriends, you know, fiancés, whatever, right? And if you're that person that's still, that's still single, you may go through a bit of loneliness. You might feel like a bit lost. Like, you're like, damn, man, like, Everyone's getting married. No one wants to hang out anymore. I don't know who to hang out with. I'm bored. Uh, should I get new friends? You know, all these things are going through your head in your mid to late 20s. When you see all your friends get married, you're not getting married. Then you got all this pressure on your head. You think that you're ugly, that you're not good enough because you haven't found anyone yet. I notice this is a huger issue with my females compared to my males. Because my males, like, you know, it is what it is. We single, we single, it is what it is. But with my females, if you're in your mid to late 20s, especially your late 20s, even your 30s, your early 30s, you start to panic because you're like, oh my God, I, I, you know, I need to get this done by this age and that done by this age. I need to get pregnant and start a family. And uh, 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 you start panicking, right? Well, ladies, let me tell you, man, I'm going to go over a couple things y'all can do. And not just ladies, this is everybody. This goes for everyone. But I noticed it is a big issue with the ladies. But Guys, anybody that's watching this video right now, if you're going through this right now, here are a couple things you can do to kind of get your mind off of this, all right? First things first, if you're feeling this way, it's perfectly normal. I went through it myself um, when when I was, you know, I'm, I'm still in my mid-20s, by the way, guys. I'm in my mid, almost late 20s. I remember all my friends getting married, and I remember feeling like, damn, I got no one to hang out with anymore, or I got nothing going on. All the friends I used to hang out with, they don't want to hang out because they're... They're pussy whipped, you know, they're, they're with the girls. They, they can't go out and do anything anymore like they used to. So what I had to do, guys, was one, I had to make a life, a fun life out of what I had, guys. I had to work with what I had. So here's the thing. Uh, I, I didn't have any hobbies because I was too busy hanging out with my friends all the time, going out to bars. The bars was my hobby. That is not technically a hobby. Yeah, going out drinking it is sort of a hobby. But it's not something you can do usually by yourself. You want to be able to do things by yourself because now that you're losing more people to marriage and all that stuff, and I'm not, and I'm not saying in a bad way, it happens, you know what I mean? Uh, what you need to do is you need to start coming up with hobbies and passions, pursuing your passions and all that type of stuff, guys. So what is it that you're passionate about? Maybe you're passionate about cooking. How about you get into cooking, right? You know, and this doesn't have to be a job or anything. It could be something on the side that you could be doing just for your own entertainment, your own leisure. Uh, go ahead and do that. Maybe uh, you like to play tennis. Go ahead and play tennis in the weekends. And this is the thing, guys. When you pursue your passions, when you pursue your purpose, when you when, when you start going after things that you're very passionate about and hobbies that you like, what happens is you're gonna meet people through those hobbies. So let's just say you go to tennis one day, right? You just you're just playing wall ball, whatever you're doing with the tennis ball, right? You meet maybe someone else there. That happens to be very passionate about tennis. Next thing you know, you guys are playing tennis. You build the bond. You build a friendship. Now you got a whole new friend that you share something in common with. Maybe this person could be your potential girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, right? You might meet them at the tennis. Now you share something in common that you're both passionate about that you both can do. So not are, are you only going to meet friends. You might also meet your future partner through doing these things. This is what I tell people. If you're trying to meet someone that is into the things you like to do, go to the things you like to do. You're into comic books, go to a comic book. I understand COVID's hard. Go to a comic book um, fan festival, whatever it's called, and you'll be surprised at the people you meet there. You might meet a couple awesome people you can be friends with, and bada boom, bada boom, you got a whole new set of friends that you can hang out with and do cool, geeky comic book crap, right? All right, so, so make sure you do that, all right? Number two is, guys, ease the pressure on yourself. I feel like a lot of the time, guys, we have a lot of pressure on ourselves. We're always like, oh, I need to be married by this age. And if, I, if I'm not, I'm a failure. Guys, we're living in the 21st century now. Marriage keeps going up and up and up. And I mean up and up and up as an age. 
Not too many people are getting married in their early early 20s and late uh, mid 20s like they used to, guys. I remember my parents and even my grandparents, they got married when they were 18. As soon as they hit 18, it was like, yeah, I'm married. At that time, it was a rite of passage. It was almost like you needed to be married or you, you weren't a man, you weren't a woman. You can't start a family. You can't do things. Nowadays, guys, we're living in the 21st century where it's harder. The economy is crazy right now. COVID, it's hard. It's hard right now to even be able to afford a wedding. Some people can't even afford move out, to move out. So ease the pressure on yourself. Understand that we're living in a different era. Do not compare yourself to what it was before. All right? So so ease the pressure off yourself because on top of getting hobbies, it's, it's also a mental thing. It's also a mind game because your mind's going to be playing tricks on me, on you. It's going to make you feel lonely. And you're gonna miss your friends. All these, maybe a song might pop up. It reminds you of a friend. And you're like, damn, I miss hanging out with him. And start, and you go back to square one again. Just, just make sure, guys, you ease the pressure. Make sure you understand you're not a failure for not being married. That you're not a piece of crap. That whatever it is, that that your friends, it's a whole new stage in life, guys. You have to transition into the new era, into the new stage of your life, which is late adulthood you're, you're going into your adulthood years where now people are getting married and it's just like all right there's no more about partying and, and finding someone it's okay like we're, we're getting married now like this is a whole new era everyone's starting families now you kind of have to ease into it and just ease the pressure a little bit guys all right so so make sure you find a couple passions pursue your passions all right the passions will fill the void of that loneliness that you're feeling right might might even get you lucky with someone new that you might meet and on top of that make sure you take care of your mental state too guys make sure if you have to go see a therapist maybe if, if it's too hard on you because i understand feeling isolated and, and lonely and not seeing your friends can take a mental strain uh, can can strain your mind a bit or whatever i don't even know how to talk right now but but make sure guys you get it if, if it's that bad seek some some help it's okay it's all right to seek a therapist to talk about these things because you may not have anyone to talk about these things you know and, 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 and that's the thing, guys. Those are mainly the two things I, I want you guys to do. Um, just make sure you pursue your passions um, and, and, and take care of your, of your, you know, of your mind. Take care of, of your health, your mental health as well, guys. Because those are going to play a huge part into you improving and progressing and, and all that type of stuff, guys. But once you do meet someone, guys, this should go away. It's, it's just a, the way of life, guys. Over time, people are going to disappear a little bit. Some people are going to talk to other people it's gonna happen maybe they don't want to talk to you anymore you just can't take it personally you know sometimes their boyfriend girlfriend might not might not allow them to hang out with you all the time but when y'all do do make the most of it obviously and all that but y'all just need to understand it's a whole new stage of your life and and sooner or later you will be with someone and when you are with someone you won't be thinking about this anymore now you can actually start going on double dates and all that cool stuff right you can actually see your friends a bit more once you do get someone because now it's like okay we can both go out. You know you know how it is when you have a boyfriend, girlfriend. They're not going to usually let you out by yourself. But let's just say if one of their friends got a girl or a guy, y'all can do a double date. And, and next thing you know, you'll be seeing them a lot more often. So it is what it is, guys. Don't put too much pressure on yourselves. You know what I mean? But yeah, guys, that is the video for today. Take care. See you next time.